Hello class, this is a video lesson on algebraic expressions and we'll le first learn to break down and learn how to simplify expressions of multiplication and division. So like with most things in mathematics there are certain ways in which we do it, uh, in which we um, conduct mathematics. Okay, There's actually a language which all mathematicians speak so we'll begin with the multiplication. Multiplication. Okay. With the multiplication of algebraic expressions, if you're given a number, let's say, for example, if you're given three times p this can be written as just three p if it were also written as p times three this is actually also written as three p okay and this is the introduction that I'd like to show you that the number in front of a letter so we'll say the number in front of a letter is called a coefficient Coefficient. Coefficient. So in this example, the coefficient of p is 3. So this here is the coefficient. That's the coefficient. special name given to the number in front and as you hopefully can recall a pronumeral is just another word for letter so you see this word letter another way you can call that is a pronumeral pronumeral so in this one, our pronumeral is P. So P is the pronumeral. Let's take a few more examples of this. If, for example, we had, if we had four times A, well, the solution to this is just 4a. If we had, uh, that's example a, example b, let's say if we had x times 7, we would just write this as 7x. And also note that from now on, please write your um, x's as a curvy x like that okay because if you write it as a regular x it'll be mistaken for a multiplication symbol similarly for question c if c is let's say negative 2 times uh, t Notice how I wrote my t. It's a, got a little tail at the end, a little curve. This will be equal to, when we express it, it's just going to be negative 2t. We'll do one more. Example d. If we had e times negative 5, well, this will just become negative 5e. 
Let's move on. If we had, okay, if we had something like, say, um, let's make it negative 2 times 3j. How we actually answer this is that these um, numbers interact first. So what we do is we focus on the numbers first. Okay, so it's negative 2 times 3. Well, 2 times 3 is 6. And a negative times a positive is a negative. And then since we have a j there, the j is still there. So this is actually what happens with um, multiple numbers in algebra. Let's move on to question G. If we had, uh, let's make it 7H my, uh, times, sorry, times negative 3, like that. Well, remember, it's the numbers first, and so 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times, or a positive times a negative is a negative, and that H remains where it is. FG, question H. Let's have this as negative, negative, 5i times negative 2. Once again, it's going to be the numbers first. So 5 times 2 is 10. And a negative times a negative is a positive. So we can keep this as just a 10. And the i is there, so the i must still remain. And finally, I, H, and that's question I. Let's have this as negative eight times negative K. Okay, so now this is a little tricky, but it shouldn't be too confusing because this K actually has a coefficient of one. Okay, it's kind of like this one here. So this is a negative one. So let's focus. What is eight times one? Or well, eight times one is eight. And a negative times a negative, well that's a positive, which leaves us with just a k like that. Okay. So this is with letters and numbers. But what happens? separate this now what happens if we have two letters multiplying with each other so let's take a few examples here if i had p times q well just like we would with numbers because remember these letters are just like numbers we actually bring them together without the multiplication symbol so this is just going to be P, Q. Even if it were, for example, Q times P, it's actually still P, Q. The reason being is we, as mathematicians, like to keep everything in order. And in this case, it's alphabetical order. Let's go into question C. If we had A times B, well, that's one that's simple. That's just going to be A, B, right next to each other, just like that. C. Question D is what if we had um, D times C, well, this will become C, D. 
steam right next to each other like that. They merge into one term. Let's do question E. So let's now start um, merging a few things together. If we had, for example, 2A times B, well, this would just become 2AB. Question F. If we had 3A times 4F, well, remember, it's in the numbers first, so 3 times 4, 3 times 4 is 12. And these letters have to go somewhere, so it's, goes, so it's just going to be A, F. So let's keep moving on now. Let's put some negative numbers in there. If we had negative 5X times negative 2, to y and this one's going to be numbers so 5 times 2 is 10 negative times a negative well that's positive we're going to leave it like that and then alphabetically it's going to be x and then y so 10 x y one last one if we had 3z times 2a, negative 2a, we would get, well, this will be equal to 3 times 2 is 6, but a positive times a negative is a negative. And alphabetically, we could put it za, but it's actually a. Z. And this concludes the expression of multiplication in algebra. They just merge together.